What's up? How is everybody doing? Uh, today, we are going to make a meme, of course. And I am looking for it right now. There it is. <clears throat> but before we do that, I just want to show you this meme here and all. Um, I just want to quickly describe how I did it because I forgot to record it when I made it. So, this is just a simple meme. And uh, not too hard to do. Um, again, you know, we grabbed our assets, the toothpaste asset, the teeth powder asset, and we had them on, you know, separate. Um, we opened them separately, and you go, uh, you know, click on the the one, you know, let's say teeth powder, you click on that, and then you go to colors, you go to color balance, and, you know, you just change these, you know, to zero or 100, uh, depending, you know, I wanted it red, so I turned uh, um, magenta, or sorry, the red is here, so I turn this all the way up, turn the other ones all the way down, um, and with the toothpaste, I turn the blue all the way up, the other ones all the way down. So that's really it. It's just simple. And then I came in with a pencil and just kind of dotted that. You know, of course, zooming in, and then I grabbed um, airbrush. I used airbrush and also the smudge tool to, in order to to pull. Uh, some color off of this to kind of make that glow so you know makes the teeth powder stand out compared to the toothpaste so that's one meme that we got and you know just simple no text or anything uh, just it's uh, understood what it means um, if you've ever seen the matrix or seen matrix memes um, okay so um, we're gonna do another uh, meme here so we're going to open this into GIMP <coughs> And so what I'm thinking here is um, I'll put kind of like a little star cavities and another star there just so it kind of you know what he's like beckoning to come at him. And then over here I'm going to put a teeth powder in his hand. So we're going to see how we can make a teeth powder look good in his hand there. Maybe we forget about his thumb. Um, you know, I don't know if we can tilt the teeth powder. Maybe we can skew it or something with um, <clears throat> the... Uh, that will probably use a uniform transform tool because I'm better at using that than any other ones. So let's give that a shot. So let's come in here. Um, let's grab our teeth meme here. Uh, teeth pick meme. Let's open with GNU. <coughs> Cool. All right. So first thing I always like to do is just Control C. You know, when you're in here, just con hit Control C. Come over here, hit Control V. Okay. So we know. Uh, let's Control Z out of that. Um, so we know we need to scale this down. Um, so let's go to Scale Image. Let's do maybe 50. Let's see what we got. Control C. Control V. Okay, okay. Uh, maybe one a little bigger. So let's Control Z that. Come over here. Uh, Control Z here. Uh, so we did 50. Let's try 75. So scale image. 75. Enter. Hit scale. Control C. Come over here. Control V. I'm liking that. I'm liking that size right there. So let's see what we got here. You know, so. <clears throat> we could just set it here right and it would just be kind of a a very crummy crummy meme you know it, it's funny that the teeth powder actually does look like it fits in the scene pretty decently but you know the hand the angle control z control z um it doesn't really work so let's see what we can do with this teeth powder so right now i have it selected um and once you click it down, like if I click out here, um, you can't move it anymore. You can't select it anymore. So I just leave it up. Another thing you can do is put it as a layer. But let's see if we can kind of make, uh, let's see if we can make this work. Uniform transform tool. Um, I 
and I'm not really seeing oh there we go you just have to click on it so let's uh, let's zoom in should always be your default go-to thing is to zoom in so what do we got here so you kind of hold it over um, okay you know could we kind of make it look like it's at an angle let's see what we can do there well, you know that's kind of working <clears throat> and you know ultimately if we get at a great enough angle sort of thing to where his thumb could also come around the other side of it that would be ideal right that would be ideal so we're kind of giving it a perspective we're kind of you know have an angle down there and an angle up here um, I think that's probably what we should do Let's see what this does okay yeah that shrinks it in a little bit yeah you know, we got our, our angle we got that so you know let's let's move it and see if we can get that thumb you know another thing we should probably do is get a rotate going on in here um, so I think this is the rotate you know I honestly I don't think rotate really works in this tool maybe okay angling you know we angle back a little bit I don't really want to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's let's angle it up. So we're kind of we're getting there. We're definitely getting there now. Really, um, what we should do <clears throat> is cut out his hand, right? So let's uh, X Control X that, and let's um, let's create a new layer. Uh, or not a new layer, new image. Okay, and make sure to come in advance and make sure it's set to transparency. Hit OK. Let's just paste down. Oh, yeah. I guess that didn't save. Well, eh, whatever. Let's come back here and let's cut out his his fingers here so that we can kind of put those in front of the teeth powder. So um, let's zoom in. <clears throat> Maybe 400, you know, maybe 800. And, you know, you want to be good with this cutting out. I see a lot of people doing just really crummy cutout jobs. You want to be really dead on with this because it can make your meme look like crud if you don't do this right. So we come into the free select tool, the lasso looking thing. And let's just take his fingers out here. <clears throat> So we're trying to get all of his fingers here. So we can basically make this into an asset that we can paste on top of the teeth powder. So as to make it look like he's grabbing it. So we just need the foreground part of the hand, the hand that's going to wrap around the teeth powder. We don't need, um, we don't need the whole hand, just the part that's kind of going to wrap around the teeth powder itself. So you know we're doing a good job cutting out here. You know, it's always good to be precise. I don't like it when I see people just you know going with like zero zoom trying to cut something out because it's just not going to look very good. All right, so we got it all there, and now the next step is to go to the line, double click, and then Control C, and then we're going to file. Oh shoot! File redo. Um, we're gonna go to file new. Uh, just hit OK as long as you got transparency. Control V, and we got that nice little asset there. So that will really help us. All right, so. Come to this light, uh, to this uh, picture and control C this, and then we're gonna control V. Well, let's uh, let's undo this. Um, select none here, and we're gonna control V into here. Okay, so um, let's zoom out to 100%. See where we're at. Okay, so um, so let's kind of move it up a little bit, and then um, we're gonna want to rotate it. 
Um, let's go to the rotate tool. I think this actually works here. Um, let's click on it and uh, pretty sure this actually works. No? Actually, yeah, there we go. You just kind of have to grab this and turn it. So I kind of want it to be kind of at an angle where his hand looks like it'll be grabbing it nicely. And that's perfectly. Hit rotate and we're good. You don't want to click down because we lose our selection there. So um, we're going to come to the uh, uniform trans unified transform tool and we're going to zoom in to maybe 400. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to click on the powder and we are going to, well, let's zoom out a little bit. Uh, won't, if you just need to zoom out a little bit, hold shift and hit the negative or don't hold shift and hit the minus button a couple times. And uh, let's try to get this. Uh, puppy working here so um, yeah we don't want to do that let's control Z that um, you don't think that I don't think you don't need that um, but I do think this is kind of a perspective tool so we can kind of try to get it to turn a little bit um, yeah something like so I kind of get it Turned up a little bit. Let's see if we can see that thumb coming on the other side. Oop, control Z that. And what about that? Maybe I was clicking on that square instead of in here. I think it should be. Yeah, there we go. That's cool. Alright, are we getting there? I definitely want to see his thumb on the other side, so maybe we thin it out a little bit. So you put it somewhere like this. <clears throat> hmm. Is that good? I don't know. I feel like we need to rotate it even more. But I just know that the rotation thing is just... Doesn't really work in this. Oh, there we go. It does work there. That's perfect. All right. Now I'm feeling pretty well, a little bit more better about this. We just want just the tip of that finger. <clears throat> That's pretty good. Let's have him hold it kind of like so. Just want the tip of his forefinger really to come over. <clears throat> Not bad. Let's click it down. We can always control Z. Um, hit transform. Click that. Ah, transform. Click it. Ah, transform. Let's uh, select none. Shoot. Select all. Select none. Sometimes it's hard to get it to shoot. Control Z a couple times. I just um, what is it? Uh, to redo or is it? Um, control Y. Okay. Control. What the frick is Y? Why is way frick over here? All right, um, good. I just want to unclick the thing, man. Let's, let's move. To, there we go. Okay, cool. Let's zoom out. Um, yeah, you know, not bad. So we just bring his fingers above. Um, let's let's see what it looks like when we bring his fingers above here. Control C that. Control V. We're definitely going to need to zoom in quite a bit here. Let's zoom in a little bit just to get started. We'll get it close to where it needs to be. And then we will uh, zoom into at least 400. Um, let's come into 400 here. And we want to get this nice and lined up exactly with his hand here. Something like that, right? Let's click it down. You know, 
it's decent, you know, it's pretty decent. Um, let's view, let's zoom at a hundred percent. Yeah, you know, that's something, right? You got the teeth out of there. I mean, it maybe it's not the clearest thing ever, but you know, it works. It does definitely look like he's holding it, right? So, you know, maybe we make the teeth powder glow so that it stands out in the scene a little bit. But for now, let's save it. Save as um, Morpheus Come One. Let's try that. Okay, cool. Now, um, let's see here. Should we, you know what would be cool is maybe do some motion blur on it. Like, like he's moving it, you think? Maybe. Mm. But in the scene, you know, he's obviously not moving it. So to put motion blur in it would kind of break immersion, I think. Um, to somebody looking at it that actually knows what the scene is about. But um, let's, um, let us zoom back in. And um, we just want to make sure that all our work over here is uh, nice and good. See, there's kind of like a harsh, harsh edges here that don't really seem right. Let's come in with some blurring and um, you know, I figured you actually use motion blur for, uh, or sorry, you use color picker for the blur tool and it actually seems to help a little bit. So let's see if we can kind of blur his fingers in so they don't look so kind of harsh uh, yeah it's definitely that's definitely doing something there so i'm just kind of clicking and dragging and you know you can see my settings here size and brush and force is low and everything so um let's come back in um shift plus and then here, you know, it's kind of dark in there, it's a little too dark, so we're kind of blur that out a little bit. Uh, it's good. Well, you know, we're looking pretty decent there, you know. Yeah, you know, we're getting really pixelated here, but I think people on the page will know what is what it is, right? There we go. It's pretty decent there, even from this. Right here, so let's zoom out to a hundred. Pretty good, pretty good. Cool. <clears throat> so let's do text. I usually don't do text in here, but I saw something where they're doing text in here. Um, I usually do it in paint, but what am I doing? I want to do white. Shoot. Let's do white text. Um. Okay. Let's click down some text here. Cavities. So. shrink that up a bit um, 36 how do you even move one of these text boxes man how do you even yeah that's not gonna work yeah, that's not gonna work how do you move the stupid text box, man? Maybe, well, of course, the move tool. That would work. Oh, yeah, um, control Z that. Um, I guess you kind of have to really get that text there. So I want to keep it in just because we might need to crop it for Instagram or whatever. And then I kind of want to put like another another text that that looks good there uh, you know I don't even need to really outline it in black I was thinking I would but I don't 
really want to if I don't have to because I don't really remember how to. So anyway, let's create a new one. Let's type this here. Home at me. And let's shrink that down. <clears throat> Let's go to our move tool. Die when that happens. You really gotta get that text. So it turns into a move cursor, okay. Cool. All right, let's click. Let's click, ah, click out. So hard. So like none, you know, I don't know why it does this dumb thing here. Uh, good night. Okay, anyway. So, I kind of want to give it like a little text thing. You know, like a little bubble thing. So, how should we do that? Do we have a shape tool? Where we make it a shape? Hmm. We have a pencil. We do have that. How about inserting? Hmm. I don't know. But we can try to draw it. Ink tool, my paintbrush tool, calligraphy style painting. That might be cool. Let me try that out. See what it looks like. And I see nothing. Yeah. Speed, angle, size, opacity. I mean, this should work. It just doesn't. I don't see anything happening, man. I do want to try is green edit paths. What's that? Paths. Okay. Um, nah. So we're just gonna have to come in here with a pencil, I suppose. Come in with our pixel pencil. And um, let's zoom in. Four hundred minimum, as I always say. Let's kind of give it. Okay, why don't I see Jack Snatch happening there? We want to go to pencil, man. Come on. Come on. Um, hardness is all the way up. Uh, I don't know what. Yeah. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know. Maybe I'm uh, image mode RGB. Yeah, that should work. Click to paint, try shift for a straight line, control to pick a color. Well, let's say control. I just want it to be light. I want it to be white. I just want it to be. I just. Oh, we're getting. Oh, gosh. See, it's selecting this dumb thing. How do I unselect? Select all. And we still can't do it. Uh, why do you do this to me? Why do you do this? 
Why? Why? I just want to be friends. Hmm. See, I hit select none and it's still selecting this thing, man. I don't understand, man. Um, like, I just, I just want, I just want it to be working, but this, this is, this is a known issue with GIMP, and I just, I don't really remember how to. Um, how to fix it. So, I'm going to pause it here and I'm going to try to look up the answer. Be right. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, that was kind of dumb. It was very easy. I just need to go down here to the layers area and just click in the actual picture layer of course um so let's go back up to this text layer here and um can we edit it can i edit it yeah Come and try me. No, try me makes it sound like try teeth powder. No, come at me. I don't know if I should put the bro thing. Why not? All right, let's get. Uh, okay. Okay. Um. There we go. All right. Maybe we go into this and uh, oh gosh, why do you do that? Click out. Ugh. Select none. Okay. Let's get to this layer. Let's take our pencil. Okay, that's way too thick. Control Z. Let's bring it down to one pixel. Just kind of give it a rough outline. kind of ghetto isn't it but we'll try to make it look better here view zoom 400 or sorry 800 um, first of all I want it to be fully white here Yeah, maybe we kind of just kind of work it a little bit. I don't want to control C that. Um, maybe I have to. Aim. Herm. I just wish there was like a shape tool like where I could make like shapes is that so hard huh. apparently it is apparently it is hard to make a shape in GIMP but you know I could always have um 
could always have taken an image from online and just you know pasted that in remember to let up on your left click while you're doing things so that when you control Z you don't lose too much like I did last time so you know maybe we try to smoothen out some of this stuff here let's do a color picker and kind of and you know you need to be listening to trance music while you do this because well you anything kind of you should be listening to trance music because it helps give you inspiration well, at least helps give me inspiration so it's good for me I think it would be good for you and there goes Photoshop um, auto zooming me out again I don't know why it does that but it does and we have to deal with that blah we're messing up Eh, it's decent. Erm. Um. Gonna make this a little nicer there. And what we can always do is use color picker and take some out from in here thinking of that Pikachu meme with Elon Musk where he's like show me your dankest memes <laughs> and uh, somebody posted a meme of Ash Ketchum hugging Pikachu in a bathtub and says one last thunderbolt Pikachu and Elon Musk was like I said dank memes not dark memes he's like oh my gosh just funny just a funny thing Uh, let's see how we look in there, boys. You know, memes don't need to look perfect. It's cool if they do, but they don't have to. It's cool. I think it's cool. Cavities, come at me, bro. I got teeth powder. Mm. Cavities. Go at me, bro. He's got the teeth powder. I think the hand looks decent. I mean, to me, it just looks very light, you know? Maybe I go in and darken a little bit. Why not? Let's just try it out. Just just to see if we can you know let's go ahead and save right now let's come in with the dodge burn tool and you come into burn makes it darker so let's try this out let's try rain shadows let's try that brush we're gonna make very very well I kind of like this sort of brush here. And force we'll put down to eight. That's a very big brush for what we're doing here. We're going to bring it down to, let's see if 20. No, it's to maybe 10. Yeah, 10 might work. Let's see what we're getting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is working. Making it a little bit darker there. They just look pink, you know, so I'm just like, man, it's darken a little bit. I 
And we're getting some outside of the finger. So let's control Z a bit here. Yeah. Let's come in with a smaller brush. Let's go to like five maybe. That should be better. Looks a little more realistic now, I'd say. You know, and it doesn't seem like we're doing all that much, but when you zoom out, you will notice some stuff. You'll know, you'll just notice. You won't really know what, but it'll just be like, oh, let's just look some more natural, you know. Don't just be like pink fingers. So let's uh, zoom out. 100. Yeah, that looks way, 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 way better. Looks much better. Cool. I don't know, that might be good. I say we got it, boys. So let's preempt this a little bit and let's let's crop it. Since we know that Instagram's probably gonna need it cropped. And let's control C, file new. Make sure your advanced options are set to transparent. I guess you don't need to for here, but control V. And that's good. And you know what we should probably f try to figure out how to do is make the background match the foreground, shouldn't we? Um. How would we do that? Canvas size. Fit canvas layers. And I click it and it doesn't do it. Of course. Of course it doesn't. Of course the fit canvas to layers doesn't work. Maybe we have to select. So let's fuzzy select the picture. And then maybe now we can do fit canvas to selection. No. View, select, none. Ah, just in that dumb thing. How about this? Select, none. Let's just try to select the sky. I mean, I just want just this selected. Why is it doing the yellow still like thing again? All right. For canvas to selection. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um. Oh shit! We lost. We lost everything, boys. Maybe I just didn't copy it over. I just didn't copy it over because the selection is in the deselection and oh man anyway we'll crop it after we export it let's export let's just save it right now file export as Morpheus come one export 
export. You know, some things are just easier to do in a different program. You know, you can't. Do we have anything important? Nah, I don't think so. Um. So yeah, some things are just easier to do in another program, and that's perfectly fine. We can just open it up in Paint, and we can come and crop it in here. Much, 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 much easier. Can't say much enough how much easier it is to crop a picture in Paint. You just say crop, boom. It's there. Well, let's not control Z that. I didn't quite crop it correctly. We want to leave, we don't want it to be uh, a black line on the top or bottom. So we want to crop it in a little bit. And let's come to there. Let's try that. Nice. We got something. Let's save it. And I think we're done. So that's pretty much it. And remember, stay calm and control Z.